Welcome, I'm Dr. Melina Roberts and I want to go through and just define a few terms because there's a few terms that I will use frequently within my practice, but I know that um, some people have difficulties deciphering what these terms actually mean. And so let me go through some of them with you. One is digestive enzymes. Now digestive enzymes, what they do is they help to break down the foods that we're eating. And we naturally produce digestive enzymes, um, but sometimes we just don't produce enough digestive enzymes. And that typically happens when we're eating on the go, when we're really stressed when we're eating, because our body is more in a sympathetic dominant state. It's more in a stress state instead of switching into more of that parasympathetic dominant state. And when our body is more in that sympathetic dominant state while we're eating, we just don't produce enough digestive enzymes to help break down our foods. And often what that shows up as, that shows up as gas or burping or bloating, which just tells us that you're not effectively breaking down the foods you're eating. So a digestive enzyme would be beneficial for you, but also, um, trying to eat in a more relaxed state, trying to make sure that you focus on chewing your food and being more mindful when you eat so that you can try to help to shift your body into that more parasympathetic state where you naturally produce those digestive enzymes. But these are just different cases where I would be using digestive enzymes with patients would be when they're not effectively able to break down the foods they're eating. And you know, you know, there's a common saying, and I'll say it quite frequently too, is that we are what we eat. But we actually, in, in actual terms, we are what we eat and that our body can break down and that we can properly absorb. Because if we're not breaking down foods and properly absorbing them, then they're actually of no benefit to us. Um, and the next term that I wanna talk about is prebiotics. Now, prebiotics is a pretty big term that you're hearing a lot now in the alternative world. And prebiotics are food for the healthy bacteria. So it helps the healthy bacteria to really repopulate and build up that healthy bacteria really strong. Now, what prebiotics are is prebiotics are actually fibers from our food. And those fibers from our food help to feed that healthy bacteria and help that healthy bacteria to grow. And there's definitely uh, better fibers that we can be getting, um, ideally from our vegetables, that can really help to pro properly repopulate that healthy gut flora. So that's what prebiotics are. And prebiotics, um, I know there's lots of different supplements out there, but prebiotics are in our foods. And probiotics, that's the next term that I wanna talk about. Now I talk a lot about probiotics, but what probiotics are, are probiotics are the healthy bacteria within our gut. So it's what makes up all of those um, healthy microbiome of our digestive tract. And we need that microbiome to be really diverse in colonies, and we need it to also be quite balanced. So balanced between what we call good bacteria and bad bacteria. And they need to be in a nice balance in order for us to have good, proper digestion. So our good, proper gut health really relies on us having enough of that healthy bacteria. And, and that's where we talk about probiotics. So we, we have natural probiotics within our digestive tract. And then there's also probiotics that we can be taking in through food sources, through soil sources, just different ways that we can be getting those healthy gut flora um, into our bodies and helping to build up that gut flora really healthy and really strong. So those are three terms that um, people sometimes get a little confused with. So 
Um, I hope you got now gained a better understanding of what digestive enzymes are, what prebiotics are, and what probiotics are. So thank you so much for listening. I encourage you to share this with your friends, to press the like button, to make a comment below, and until next time, continue to learn, grow, and build health.